popping down to the local <laughs> Coles is, is usually a pretty uneventful affair, right? Mm. Yeah. 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 Pretty my life yeah. it is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but one man has become an instant hero on his local grocery run, stopping a robbery in its tracks by tackling the culprit. T, as his friends call him, was the last person these bumbling burglars would want to come across, and he joins us now. T, so great to have you on the show. Thank you, how are you? Hey! Oh, better to see you, bro. Oh, look fantastic. Hey. Just take us, take us through how this all unfolded, T. Uh, to be honest, it was just like a normal day. Just drive in here to the coals to drop off their magazines. Mm. And then I seen like uh, the lady in the medical centre, she was waving up. So I was like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, I didn't know what she was waving at, to be honest. Yeah. But then I jumped out the truck and then um, she was like, these two guys next door in the pharmacy robbing it. And I was like, like, right now? And then she's like, yeah, yeah, right now. And so I was like, oh, I'll wait there then and I'll go over and check it out. So I just walked over, stood in front of the door, and then I looked down and I seen them and I was like, mate, what are, what are you up to? Yeah. And then they just looked at me, turned, turned around, looked at me, and then they started walking towards me. At that time, I didn't know whether they had knives or anything. So I sort of was just being cautious about it, to be honest. <laughs> and then um, the closer they got... <laughs> yeah. I sort of took a step back, and then that's when the first fella just ran straight past me. I was like, but he got away. And then um, the second fella just looked at me. I was like, you're not going anywhere. Nah. <laughs> yeah. And so you what did you do? So I just tackled that fella down. Oh, well, I, that's when I grabbed yeah. the guy, and I tackled him on the ground and just held him there. And then I was just literally... He was struggling at first, and I just said to him, I was like, mate, you're wasting your breath. Yeah. You're just going to make yourself tired. Hey, and then uh, after, after a little while, he sort of sort yeah. of just gave up, and then I was like, I have a son, he's 15 years old, so my fatherly instinct kicked in, and I'm, I just started giving him life advice, I guess. <laughs> uh, did you say to him, Mr T, did you say to him, oh, too many weights, not enough speed? <laughs> But I should have been. <laughs> <laughs> but you must have said, yeah, so you obviously, reckon. you had no concern for your own safety. I love this. And then, and then you, and you tackle him down. Did, did you not, in all seriousness, have any worries about being hurt at all? Because, you know, you could have had anything. Nah, to be honest, I, that wasn't even in my mind, to be honest. The lady asked for help and I, I was just like, yeah, yeah, I got your back. Jump in there and just help out, pretty much. Oh, legend. Mr T, I want to know yeah. what advice you gave mm. him. Because I think it took about 10 minutes for the cops to get there. <laughs> yeah, well, it was pretty much just like, I was like, because at first I asked him how old he was, and he told me 15, so I was like, mate, I got a 15-year-old son. Why are you hanging out with those drop kicks? <laughs> yeah, they're no good for you. <laughs> Like, you got your whole life ahead of you, but you're 15 years old. Come on, mate. And then he, he sort of offered me a bribe. He's like, bro, I'll give you 200 bucks if you let me go. And I'm like, cuz. I pointed at my work truck and I was like, bro, I got a job. I don't need your money. Oh, man, you are and then, um, <laughs> And then I'm just like, I was telling him, because he's like, just let me go. I don't want to go to jail. I don't want to go to jail. And then I just sort of told him, I said, Oh, I'm sorry, bro, but this is what happens when you're a naughty boy, eh? <laughs> Mate, you deal with the consequences, cuz. Yeah. Mate, I am transfixed you by go. you. Um, you, are, you are a proper, a proper <laughs> legend. The New Zealand Prime Minister is also um, in Australia right now, uh, and you're, you're the kind of Kiwi that needs to be celebrated in a very, very large way. Uh, <laughs> would you want to come over my place for a hungy? <laughs> But I'll cook it for you, cuz. <laughs> You've done properly. You're a legend, my man. Mr. T, great to talk to you. Thank you so much for being with us.